Hey everyone, Optrail Jeff back again. So not too long ago we put out a video on both of our PAPR units, both our E3000X and our Swiss Air. So that video dove into the specifics of each of the units and compared the two as well. So hopefully after that video you get a better idea of which model might be right for you. So now that everyone's a little bit more familiar with both of the units that we offer, I'd like to dive into some of the accessories that are available for each of them. I know a lot of you probably aren't even aware that we offer accessories for each of these units, so at the end of the video, I'll also show you where you can locate them on our website, which is optrail.us. So starting with the E3000X, the most popular accessories that we offer for this model are the protective sleeve for the air hose, the mountain breeze filter, the gas filter, and lastly the shoulder harness. So I'll go through each of these accessories one by one and kind of touch on the benefits of using each of them. So the E3000X is going to come equipped with the TH3 HEPA filter on it. And that's going to filter out 99.8% of particles. But if you're someone who's working in a nasty environment where there's gases and vapors floating around, then you're going to want to go ahead and grab yourself the gas filter. So this is an activated carbon filter that's going to help block out those nasty gases and vapors and help prevent you from getting respiratory diseases. So just to give you an idea of who might use the gas filter, you know, we see a lot of people who work in the painting industry, the agricultural industry, those who are working with cleaning products or chemicals in a lab setting, first responders, and of course, welders. I mean, really this is gonna provide the ultimate protection against organic and inorganic gases and vapors. This is gonna do the job. So it's extremely easy to put on. Um, and one important thing I wanna point out is that the gas filter does not replace the HEPA filter on the E3000X. It works in combination with it. So one is gonna stack on top of the other. So first thing you wanna do when putting this on is pop off the HEPA filter. So we'll take off the cover here, put the HEPA filter aside and pop in the gas filter. So just find these little grooves here, pop it in and press down. Now that we have the gas filter in place, we can pop the uh, HEPA filter on top of that. So again, find the grooves, put the HEPA filter into place, and just press down. So now we're all set up and ready to go. So again, first we're gonna have the gas filter and then the HEPA filter on top of that. The other filter option that we offer is called the Mountain Breeze filter. And this is also gonna work in combination with the HEPA filter that comes on the E3000X. Unlike the gas filter, which protects you from gases and vapors, the Mountain Breeze filter is just gonna block out any nasty odors. So, you know, if your someone is wearing a grinding shield, a soft hood, or a welding helmet with the E3000X, and you don't want any nasty odors entering that breathing zone, then this is gonna do the job. Simple to put on, you know, we're just similar to the gas filter, we're just gonna pop off the HEPA filter first, then pop the Mountain Breeze filter into place. Find the grooves, press it down. Now that we have the Mountain Breeze filter in place, we can put the HEPA filter on top of that. So again, they stack one above the other. Find the grooves, press the HEPA filter into place, and press down. So how simple as that? Again, you're gonna have the Mountain Breeze filter on first, and then the HEPA filter. So between those two filters, again, you're gonna be protected from any nasty odors and also particulates. Another popular accessory that we offer for the E3000X is our shoulder harness. So although the E3000X can be worn as is around your waistline, some people do prefer to add the shoulder harness. Essentially what this does, it's gonna take some of the weight from the unit off your lower back and spread it more evenly across your shoulders. The unit itself is already pretty lightweight. You know, it only weighs a little over three pounds, but if you really don't wanna feel any weight around your lower back, then the shoulder harness will make a great option for you. To attach the shoulder harness to the unit, it's extremely simple. So. If you look at the back, the base of the back of the shoulder harness, you're gonna find these two clips here. These are just gonna pop right into these two rings that are located at the top of the belt around the E3000X. So I'll go ahead and pop those into place. Got one secured, and two secured. So now that the back of the shoulder harness is secured to the E3000X, I can go ahead and put it on. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do 
is secure the E3000X to my waist. Secure the belt, pop it into place. The next thing you'll want to do is locate these two straps on the front of you right here. Just pull those down until it feels nice and snug around your chest. Lastly, is going to be the strap that goes across the center of your chest. Just pop that into place. And you're all set. So as you can see, I have the E3000X around my waist, and the shoulder harness is taking some of that weight off my lower back, and again, spreading it across my shoulders. The last accessory that I'll be showing you for the E3000X is the flame retardant protective sleeve for your air hose. So this is pretty self-explanatory, but this goes directly over your air hose. And what it's going to do is it's going to protect it from any dust, debris, splatter, or any stray spark flying around. You know, chances are if you're working in an environment where you're needing to use a papper, you're going to want to protect your hose from whatever it is that you're working on. It's also machine washable, which is nice, so anytime you get any debris or splatter on it, just throw it in for a quick wash. Alright, so moving on to the Swiss Air papper. So aside from the general replacement parts that are offered for the Swiss Air, the two most popular accessories are the extension pieces for the shoulder harness and the protective sleeve for the air hose. So the protective sleeve for the air hose really isn't that much different than the model I just went over the, for the E3000X. Um, it's made out of the same material. It's going to provide the same benefit. Really the only difference is the size. So the hose on the Swiss Air is smaller, therefore the protective sleeve is smaller. Now, if you're a larger person and the shoulder harness on the Swiss Air doesn't fit that well, it's too tight, you're gonna wanna go ahead and grab the extension pieces. So, essentially what this is gonna do is it's gonna replace a part of the existing shoulder harness. It's gonna give you more space. It's gonna be able to fit you a lot better. It's gonna be more comfortable, provide you with a better experience. So, to put these on, it's pretty simple. I'll go ahead and show you. So once you have the Swiss Air in front of you, there's pretty much four points of contact that you want to undo. So there's two pieces of Velcro on the bottom and then two on the top. So we want to undo those, which is going to remove the existing uh, shoulder harness. So we'll go ahead and undo the bottom Velcro pieces and then the Velcro at the top of the harness here. All right, now that the existing harness is out of the way, we'll go ahead and grab the extension piece. So putting this in place is simple. Again, there's gonna be four points of contact here. So we'll wanna free up the Velcro on the bottom and just weave that in through the harness at the base of the, uh, the harness. All right, so weave that Velcro through. Secure it, weave the Velcro through, and secure it. Now we have these two straps up top here. Weave the Velcro through and secure it. And same thing with the other side. Weave the Velcro through and secure it. Now the extension piece for the shoulder harness is added and you know it's something you could play around with. You could tighten it up or loosen it up so you can really get a customized fit for you. So aside from the accessories that I went over today, um, you know you could find a slew of replacement parts for either the Swiss Air or the E3000X. So what I'm going to do next is go ahead and show you how to locate all those items on our website. Alright, so the first thing you'll want to do if trying to locate any spare parts or accessories for the Swiss Air or the E3000X is hop on over to our website, which is optrail.us. So once you're on our website here, you just want to click on the products tab. And that's going to bring you to all the products that we offer. So I'm going to want to scroll down until I find either the E3000X or the Swiss Air. For this demonstration, we'll use the E3000X for an example. So I'll click on that model. And what I'm going to want to do is scroll down to the bottom until I come across accessories and replacement parts. 
So under this section, I'll be able to find any replacement parts for this model, such as spare batteries, um, an extra replacement hose, the mountain breeze filter, um, shoulder harnesses, protective sleeves for the air hose. Everything is going to be right here. So this is where you'll find the accessories that we just went over in the, this video and also any spare parts. Same thing with the Swiss Air. Just head on over to the products tab. Scroll down until you find the Swiss Air. Click on it. And again, just scroll down until you find the accessories and replacement parts. And this is where you'll find everything right here. That about wraps up today's video. I know it was a pretty lengthy one today, but like I said before, I feel like a lot of people may not have been aware that we offer these accessories for both of our PAPR units. And they also might not have been aware where to find the parts and accessories for these units on our website. So I really hope everyone found today's video useful. And if you have any questions that we didn't answer, type them into the comment section below and we'll get right back to you. As always, if you're enjoying the content that we're coming out with, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like our videos. We'll be coming out with a couple of new ones in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned. Until then, we'll see you soon.